Brace the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Yamas whipping up on the Hello guys, my name is Nagato and for today's tutorial, I'm basically I'm going to be showing you guys on how to back up your PlayStation Vita license. Um, this process is very easy. I just want to give a quick shout out and credit to the Hero GAC for making this plugin. And this plugin is pretty important due to the fact of the new upcoming hack for uh, the Vita. You know, most of y'all guys have been keeping up with the scene and also with my channel. Uh, the flow is releasing a hack for 3.69 and 3.70 firmware using like some PlayStation portable like sandbox type thing I'm not too sure about like, you know the full details, but that's basically some of the schematics to this um, With that being said uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to state the things that you do need uh, Basically, you need either a PlayStation Vita or a PlayStation TV That's between the firmware is 3.60 to 3.68 whether you're using H on core um, Hankaku or Hankaku Enzo you could do this process either you could use your USB cable to transfer files over or FileZilla or any FTP client for this process I'm using uh, FileZilla also for today you will need Vita Shell which is you know if you don't have Vita Shell most people do in the Vita scene if they've been messing with a lot of homebrew and stuff like that but any uh, you know tools and any programs for any of my videos I will have in the link in the description but with that being said, I'm going to teach you guys on how to install this. So I have the website basically booted up right in front of you. Go ahead and download the latest version. I'm going to be using the older version because I think my Vita wasn't doing this process correctly. But either version, you know, does work. Once you have, you know, basically your VBK, what you want to do now is go ahead and just go ahead and boot up FileZilla. And from there, you don't have to type your IP in yet, but I'm going to show you guys on how to do that via for Vita Shell. Most people probably already know how to do this step, but just to make it easier, I'm going to switch to my Vita to show y'all guys. So, okay. Once that is all in, go ahead and boot in the Vita Shell like normal, because all we have to do is install the VPK. But now what you want to do is go ahead and hit start on your... um. Vita and now you want to go ahead where it says select toggle if you want to use uh, USB to transfer files or FTP in this case I'm using FTP so just change that use it in a directional pad back out go to select and now you should see your um, file, uh, FTP server running and also your um, IP and your port and the port for Vita is 1337 so now what you want to do is go to FileZilla have it booted up go ahead and type your IP type in the port and hit quick connect I've already done these steps just to make the video uh, the video a little bit faster excuse me but now what you want to do is go ahead minimize your uh, file file Zilla screen and now go ahead and transfer uh, if you have it saved on your desktop go ahead and just transfer it over to UX0 in my case I already have it uh, booted up so if you have auto back in the VPK, go ahead and transfer it to you, your memory card, which is UX0. And then from there, once it transfers over, it should give you a notification. Go ahead and head back to your Vita. So let me just prompt it up. You could close down your FTP server now. So if you go into UX0 and then find wherever your VPK is located, go ahead and install it like a normal VPK. Just click X. It shouldn't take too long. Um, most VBKs like this are, you know, under a certain size anyway. They shouldn't be over like, you know, five megabytes if that. But once my thing is finished, I'll show you guys on how to run it. And basically, once it's backed up, then you should get auto backup license. Go ahead and hit OK. And now what you want to do is follow the prompt on screen so you should see a system message stating press X to back up your full license go ahead and hit X and then the files have been saved in this location and now from here you can basically it should just go back out and then you could either go into Vita shell and go into that location and then find your files 
with that being said my name is Nagato and this is, was a pretty simple tutorial if you guys have any questions or if this thing didn't work for you go ahead in the comment section below but with that being said I'm signing out and thank you guys for watching me